Number 33. A ray of 610 nanometer light goes from air into fuse quartz at an incident angle of 55 degrees. At what incident angle must 470 nanometer light enter flint glass now to have the same angle of refraction? All right, so first thing you gotta know, 610 nanometer light is orange and 470 nanometer light is blue. So what we'll have to do is the, we'll take a look at the first case. Why don't we first calculate, given the first sentence up here, let's calculate the uh, angle of refraction. All right, and we're gonna use Snell's law, Snell's law to do that. So the uh, index of refraction of the incident ray multiplied by the sine of the incident angle will equal the, ins, uh, the index of refraction of the refracted ray multiplied by the sine of the refracted angle. So divide both sides by, well, don't forget it's subscript, divide both sides by the index of refraction for that refracted ray. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the inverse sine of both sides, cause I gotta cancel that sine function, right? And the only way to do that is do the inverse sine. So when we do that to the left and we get that expression, then when we do it to the right, we cancel the sign. So here's your formula. So basically now we can plug everything in, right? So the index of refraction is traveling from air, they said. So the index of refraction of that incident ray is one. Now, yes, blue, orange, all the light will have slightly different values in air, but it's really, really close to one. So don't even worry about it. So this is then multiplied by the sine of the incident angle they told us 55 degrees divided by then the index of refraction for the refractor rate. Now remember in this problem here for the first part, it is fused quartz. So this is the value for fused quartz for the orange light. So 1.456. All right, great. And that's then equal to the uh, angle of refraction. So if I just plug that in, inverse sine of sine of 55 divided then by 1.456. I get about 3.4, so 3, uh, not 3, 34.2 degrees, okay? Now, this is the uh, refracted angle, okay, for the orange light. But now they're saying, uh, what happens when this angle of refraction here is the same for the blue light now in a different medium? So in other words, pretend this is not fused quartz anymore. Pretend this medium now is going to be uh, flint glass, okay? And pretend it's still air at the top. So we got this now blue ray. And what we're going to have to figure out is now this new angle, okay? This new angle of incidence, all right? But down here now we need the value for flint glass, and that's what this is, right from your table. So the refracted now ray's angle, the theta sub r, is going to be the same thing for the blue, okay? So this is equal to theta r. So now we're basically going to go backwards more or less, okay? So start with your Snell's law. So we have incident uh, index of refraction for the incident ray multiplied by sine of the incident angle will equal the index of refraction for the refracted ray multiplied by the sine of the refracted angle. I wanna find the incident angle. So divide out now the incident angle of refraction and then take the inverse sine of both sides. And that would cancel the sign on that side. And there is your formula now. So all we need to do is basically just plug in the values. So we got inverse sine of the uh, index of refraction for the refracted ray. Now that is for, remember, we said that this is going to be flint glass. So the value there for the blue light is 1.684. Multiplied by then the angle of refraction, which is the same thing as we calculated before, 34.2. I'm going to use the exact number when I plug it in. And then the uh, index of uh, refraction for the incident ray, remember that is still air, so that's a one. So plug that all into the calculator. So inverse sine of 1.64, excuse me, 684, times then sine of that exact answer from before. And then you don't have to worry about dividing by one. And here we go, we get a value of now 71.3 degrees. All right, that would be your answer. So there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out and subscribe if you can, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.